All right, welcome to the follow-up to my uh, how to mask shapes in After Effects CC 2018 video, one of my most popular videos recently. A lot of people seem to have problems with masking shapes. One question in the comments was, what does it mean if tool creates mask is grayed out? Well, actually, uh, there's actually only one reason how why that would happen. Let's get back to our example uh, and drag out a rectangle here. And let's say you did click away somewhere and deselected the shape layer and created the second one. Here's the problem. If you have multiple shape layers, this tool creates mask option is not going to be available anymore. You have to have a single shape layer selected with the emphasis on single. It's one. If you have multiple shape layers selected like, like so, it's still going to be grayed out. Okay. So either drag your shapes, not cl uh, clicking away and deselecting your shape layer like, like this. And then this option will still be available. Or if you did and you are happy with this and you, you, you want to keep these shapes and still want to be able to mask them, you can't just go in and let's say in shape layer two, you have this rectangle. You, you can't click and drag it to the first layer. You have to select it and then control X, command or control, select the first one and then command or, or control V. That way you will again end up with one shape layer, select that shape layer, and then go back to your tool creates mask option. Okay, pretty simple. So just to demonstrate, if you have, if you have uh, two shape layers and you have to select them, it's not going to be available. Okay. Um, so again, command or control X, command or control V, get rid of that one. And then you will be able to go ahead and use that tool creates mask option again. Pretty simple. So I hope this uh, will answer your question. If you have any questions like these, if you want to troubleshoot some uh, tutorials or some something that you might to use, please uh, don't hesitate to put your questions into the comments. I'd love, I'd love to pick up on that and try to solve them. And as usual, of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to not miss any tutorials for After Effects, Premiere Pro and tools to create awesome video content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.